and welcome. My name is Hank Preston and I'm a Net DevOps Evangelist with DevNet. And in this video, I wanna take a look at the practical side of network as code, which for me is the use of infrastructure as code concepts and techniques across the entire network. We'll see how source control and CICD systems will let us track issues, submit updates, and even deploy code across the entire network in an automated fashion. Let's take a look. Okay, here we're looking at the master repository for our network as code configurations in our source control system. We are logged in as a general network operator and can review the current configurations. In this example, we leverage Ansible as our configuration management tool. If I see a change that is needed, I can open up an issue against the repository, providing details about what is needed. One of the advantages of source control is the ability for anyone to contribute it to the project. Here, I fork the production repository into my own account where I can make the changes needed to resolve my issue. With the changes committed to my own repository, I open a pull request to the original source repository indicating that this solves an open issue. Now let's look at how this works from the network owner's view. I can review new issues and pull requests that have been opened, and right within the source control system, I can make comments on the suggested changes and collaborate with the contributor. In this case, the pull request is missing some needed details. Once the contributor completes the needed changes, I can fully review the proposed changes. If all looks good, I can merge them into the production configuration and close the issue. By updating the production configuration, our Net DevOps CI/CD pipeline kicks off. A new build begins based on the approved changes. The steps in the build pipeline can vary, but typically would include deploying the updated configurations to a test network, verifying the configuration works as intended, and potentially even deploying to production. In this case, we can see the Ansible playbooks being applied to the network and making the desired configuration changes. Thanks so much for joining me on this Network as Code journey. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.